I think the fact that you guys are friends after a oh, relationship yeah. is still that's a big yeah. one. That's a big one. Like people can't be friends. It has to be this. I think. Yeah, I emotional mean, to me, thing. To me, I think I said it in the other pod podcast, or maybe I just said it in person. But to me, it, it's it is very weird that you could share everything with somebody. You could, you know, you share the deepest, darkest parts of your mind with somebody, share your body with them. Um, you know, only if, if you're married though, uh, no, uh, <laughs> but you, you share everything with this person and then you break up and then you have to become mortal enemies with them. Yeah. And I, and I'm not saying that everybody could be friends with their ex mm -hmm. and, I, and that, and it's probably unhealthy to think, to think that as well, like that, you know, you're going to be friends with your ex, yeah. but you know, the way that things ended for us and the way that things ended with my last long-term relationship ended on a, in a nice way. Mm -hmm. You know, there, there weren't, you know, really hurt feelings. Nobody was, was screwed over. Yeah. It was just like, Hey, is this working out? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are there sort of unreconcilable differences? <laughs> yes. All right. Well then maybe, maybe let's end this. Yeah. Obviously, you know, our relationship didn't end, um, that, um, it wasn't that formal. Oh. I cried a little bit more than that. <laughs> um, I cried like a little bitch. No, I still don't think you did. I, I did I did the kind of crying where it, your voice gets like uh, uh, uh. Uh, Well, okay. That was fun. Um we broke up we broke up in the hospital. In the hospital while I was still in the hospital. <laughs> I was just uh never mind. Um but, <laughs> but sorry. But I mean the great the great what I really, really appreciated about our breakup is, you know, well, you said, let's go on, let's go on a break. And I said, well, I don't believe in breaks. Mm -hmm. So we should probably just end it. And then maybe down the road, maybe mm -hmm. down the road in the future, you know, we'll be walking down the street, run into each other. Hey, you want to give us another go? Yeah. Sure. But for now, let's, let's just end it. If you feel like we need to go on a break, let's just end it. Yeah. And then it wasn't like I just like walked out of the hospital room. We talked for like an hour and a half. Yeah. Felt like a long, long time. I mean, we were talking real fast. <laughs> yeah, you know, you had places to be. <laughs> <laughs> um, but <clears throat> I felt like that was that was so nice to be able to to like, you know, say like, okay, this is this is over for now. Mm -hmm. But let's talk about it. Yeah. And being able to talk. And then and then when you went into the hospital the next time, mm -hmm. that's when you had your second ovary removed. Mm -hmm. So that was the end of, you know, all the lady bits. Yeah. Um, and then I visited you in the hospital a few times. Yeah. Um, stayed, I think I stayed the night with you one night. Yeah. Um, and that gave us an opportunity to like really sort More of talk. like yeah. break down like what, you know, what the relationship was. Like, well, we had also made it past the, uh, like the emotionally traumatic, like, <laughs> oh God, it's happening now. And what do I do? And how do I wake up? And. We had had some time to, to time to ourselves, and um, uh, so we could really look at the relationship objectively. And I, I don't necessarily think that people who break up should revisit and be like, what did we do wrong? But one of the reasons that I think that Ian and I are able to be such good friends after the breakup is because despite the fact that although we didn't agree on things, we've had a profound amount of respect for each other. We don't necessarily need to agree, but we understand. Like, I don't, I don't know, or I mean, in my head, I, I wouldn't operate the same way that Ian would, in, Ian would in some ways, but I understand. I understand him, I understand why he made the decisions, and I respect that. You know, like, I, the, it's the respect that made it so that, you know, like, ultimately I just, you know, we want each other to be happy, and if it wasn't happening together, we have to, you know, do the, the appropriate steps and um, we've had respect and uh, understanding of each other the whole way. Thank you for watching this week's highlight clip. The full audio episode is available now wherever podcasts are found or click the links below. The full video episode comes out Friday, so be sure to subscribe to catch it. To watch our most recent episode, click that box on the right. Also, check out our new clothing line at smosh.store. Oh, it's so cool. I like that. That's it's so squishy. Squishy. Oh, that. I go drink water often.